This is Kelly from Brew Pursuit Junk Journals. And this is number three project for our retreat, make and takes, gift ideas with junk journal supplies. So we have got some ideas to make Christmas gifts or any gifts for, for our friends and family for possibly the Christmas season, but out of our junk journal supplies. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is that I'm having a retreat in December and all of these are what I'm considering my make and takes for the retreat. So that gives me a little bit of chance to get really prepared. Project, you're probably wondering what all these papers are. Yes, uh, the project we're gonna do today are shopping lists and reminder lists, little notepads for our list loving uh, friends and family. I actually want to give this one to my mother-in-law. I hope she's not watching this video. She doesn't watch very many videos, so that's okay. She, she, uh, she is a list maker. So, and she's always like, I don't, I don't have any paper. So this is too small for this. I think maybe I'll use the bigger one. I got a bigger one right here. Okay. And I got a new cutter. I could brought, I could, it's new to me anyway. Could have brought that out but I didn't. So I'm excited. And the funny part is I have saved these from old notebooks, uh, notepads, and I am going to reuse them to make more notepads. Huh. But of course I ripped those off and tea dyed them and put them in journals, junk journals. So, you know, you know, you know how that goes. So hopefully we have enough of those on, on standby. If you don't have those you can always use cereal boxes you can also use your card stock if you have some of that laying around and actually i'm just noticing here i've got these uh file folders that are a little thicker those would actually work too so maybe i'll just use use those and actually they'd be kind of cute with the little tab on them who knows we'll see we shall see i didn't really clean my desk totally off from my other thing but that's all right i think we'll be able to use these supplies to make the notepad. So I just kept them there. Mm -hmm. I like to make some tall, skinny ones. Mo her most, fa my mother-in-law's most favorite list is of course her grocery list. Uh, I think she'd like the blue. I've got blue paper here. I like that one too. But I'm gonna go for blue. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There, try ten. Ten sheets. Okay. I don't think I don't think this cutter is gonna manage ten, but we'll try. We'll try. We're gonna make maybe a skinny one. Like tall and skinny. She likes tall and skinny ones. Mm -hmm. Let's give this a go. Some more layers out there. But not all the layers. Whoop. Yeah, this cutter is getting kind of kind of finicky. Got it. Okay. Got some little edges here. Can't have that. No, no, no. Okay, so we've got our first grouping of papers. That's 10 right there. Should I make it 20 or is 10 enough? Mm. Okay. And, and then I'll have to be... I think 10 is enough. Yeah, we'll do it. That's 10 trips to the grocery store. That'll take a while. <laughs> That's a while. Okay, now how tall do we need this thing? I think that's a little too tall. Maybe we'll cut it down to here. Don't have to worry about the top at all. 
at all at all. Well, I'm just going to staple it right off the bat. Should I use my big stapler? Is it there? Is it there? Oh, here's some nice lace. Here's my... Where's the stapler? I reach back there and it's just not there. Some of these things are disappearing on me lately. It's very weird. Either that or I'm disorganized. It's one or the other. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oot. At any rate, the base part is not going anywhere. Now we have to make it pretty to make it something really fabulous. I think some burlap would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? She might like that. I think she might. Little burlap crumbs. I suppose I could wrap it around. But I don't think so. Do I like it this way? Maybe like that. And then I'll just trim. Well, that's messy. That's messy. Look at all those crumbs. Okay, so we'll glue that on. Got that settled. Get my fabric glue ready. Doo -doo -doo. And I have a digital freebie that I'm excited to tell you about. Oh, and if you are interested in uh, attending one of my retreats, I not only have the one in Georgia, but I have one in Wisconsin and one in Indiana in January. So check those out. And here we go. Uh, yeah, so we're having a sale on the retreats right now. And it's a really good sale, so... If you are interested, I would snag it, snag it now. And then we'll add a little lace. How do we like this? Oh, wouldn't that be fun? Like the velvet on there? With the, with the blue paper? Maybe. Let's try this. Could be a thing. Oh. Interesting. Hold on. Um... No. Try this on for size. We'll try it. If we don't like it, we don't have to keep it. Okay, so I'm kind of looking at this. I think that looks pretty cute. With the lace. And so forth. I'll try it. And then I'll tell you about my I'm calling it in my coffee shop. I'm giving away a free digital. It's a very small digital, but it uh, goes along with this project. And I thought you would need it because I needed it. So I thought I'd just share it with you. And I will show you it in two seconds as soon as I get this glued. Okay, I'm going to glue the lace. Just kind of hanging down a little bit. And then I'll glue my little ribbon. Get glue on it. Ooh, look at this. I don't know if I want any of those colors though. None of those colors. But I got my little pack of colors right here. I'm going to show you the digital. I like these. Glue on there. Just a little sparkle. And then I will decide. Okay, so here's the digital. I printed it out. Printed it out. This is it. It's just a little uh, list of lists. <laughs> a list of list titles for uh, this project. So it just says in different colors, you know, it's repeated the same grouping, which is shopping list, to-do list, appointments, and reminders. So that's all I felt like I needed. So I'm going to call this a shopping list. And I'm going to use that one right there. And I will have the link in the description below. I was 
a good girl and I did, I made the digital and added it to my coffee shop before <laughs> uh, I did the video because otherwise I wouldn't probably get around to it. So I forced myself to do that because I really wanted to do the video, but boring paperwork and stuff like that. No thanks. <laughs> so I have to trick myself. I don't know where my daughter is. What in the world? My brown dauber. Are you kidding me? I found a dauber, but not my brown one. This can't be happening to me. Well, what the heck? Hold on. Brown dauber. Looks like we're going to have to do an emergency dauber. Um, brown ink. Whoa. Walnut stain. All right, I suppose. Just a little bit. A little bit around the edges. Rondo. Now, I, whoa, that was sticking up. Stay on the paper. And I thought maybe, actually, I could put it on there if I can get it to stay, which I think I can if I use, if I use the fabric glue, yeah. Fabric to paper, that's how that works. A lot of people you would use art glitter glue, the art glitter glue for that. Oh, it's like a chunk missing. But I just would prefer to use the fabric glue. And then got a little here look how cute that is oh my goodness she will love that i forgot to put the <laughs> i forgot to put the secure back on it oh my goodness what a goof what a goof okay and there's some weird drawing on there so i have to cover that up I can do it though. That's what we're all about here. We know how to cover stuff up with paper. That's easy. Easy peasy. Okay, we'll go right here. Figure out right to there. Come out a little bit. I think that this is it. This is the spot. Trust me. Well, you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll just trim this a little bit. How's that look? Good? Decent? Is it too short? It's a little short. Well, I think we'll just shorten our, our shopping list a little bit because, frankly, it's probably too long anyway. So this goes to here. That goes to there. Pretty much right to this line. I can do that. Right at that line. Ooh. There we go. That handled. I will have to attach this to here. I think gluing it will work. And we're doing paper to paper, so we'll just do the old. I might have to invite. Uh, The desk fairy along. I've got a, a real situation on my hands. <laughs> do I do? Maybe a little clippy clamp on there. Make sure everything's all good and good and snug. I think I need it pressed right on that part. That's the part I need it. Okay, now I'm happy. So there's one down. What I should have done is cut all my papers first, but that would be too easy. I'm probably gonna 
if they have the lines on them along here, I'm probably gonna get rid of that. You can do what you want, but I would probably just get rid of it. Now I have to cut this slot to match that other slot. And I'll show you another thing that I'm excited to do with the scraps. And I have, I was listening to Melina's video talking about Thanksgiving plans. And it was a very nice video, Melina Pilot. Ooh, I'm th I think I'm saying that right. I don't know. And then, that can't be right. That can't be the same width. Anyway, I thought it was a very nice video. And then I thought, I can't really talk about my, that, that's all. I don't know how I did that. That's like almost exactly, okay, it's a little narrower, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Do you live with that? I could live with that. All right. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Well, I didn't really have any extras to deal with per se. I'm going to cut it right about here. Okay. And this one, I'm just going to keep that for a scrappy notebook in my journal. Mm -hmm. So that I will save to decorate that one later. And this is going to be a gift one. <laughs> so now I need a little backing piece. I'll use some of this. Nope. Line it up, line it up. Okay. First we'll get this piece off. Just give it a little bit more. I kind of moved it to the left just a little bit. It was too much. A little much. It's not bad though. No. I don't know. I, I don't think they're supposed to be like that. It looks kind of cute like that. Okay, we'll leave it. I like it with a little extra, it turns out. A little at the bottom, a little on the sides. Okay. Yeah. Actually, it looks kind of nice. Who knew? Okay, I'm just kind of this forward. Ugh, tappy tappy. Mm. Yeah, so I was thinking, oh, I'd get in trouble if I talk about Thanksgiving with my family. <laughs> you know what they say, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. That's pretty much my situation. Uh. There we go. So... Look at that. Oh, buzzes on here. Get, get going. I got burlap pieces everywhere. Okay. Now, this one. What could we do? I've got a little of this. Actually, the lines are blue. That's okay, though. We're going to we're gonna do the velvet. Uh, this is a common thing that I do with my velvet, which is get my scissors. I disappeared. Holy smokes, I lose everything lately. See, I skipped sorting Saturday. Yes, the other day, whatever day it is when I'm recording. And well, that was apparently a problem. Oh, I got these little tiny scissors. Guess we're doing that. My other ones, the other day I set them behind myself on my seat. That was a weird thing to do. I don't think I've ever done that before. Let's see here. So I sort of trim these off. And generally I keep these as little twist ties to decorate little charms and things. 
because it's a little wire in there. That's what that is. Yeah. And this, I'll just do a fold over like so. So I need about right there. It'd be cute to use your pinking, pinking scissors. Mine are, yeah, you guessed it, missing. So I've, I do have a lot of stuff over at the new makerspace down there. And so I've kind of moved things around a bit and I don't know. It's kind of crazy. I think that is where I'll start. I'll just put that like that and then we'll figure out where to go from here. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a little tickle in my throat for some unknown reason. I don't need that in my life. Whoa! Just hurry up. I gotta leave my glue upside down. Don't forget. Finally. I could put a little on the top for extra reinforcement. Oh, I just set that right down. What are you doing? Okay. It's about same, same. Squeeze that all on. Feels like it's hanging off the one side and we need these to be a little more even. There we go. A glue on my table. My goodness. I know I have the velvets out. They're very nice. Okay, I did I have my eye on a little piece of lace. This perhaps like that one. Let's see how to trim that edge. like that. Maybe like that. It's okay. That works. Wants to curl up down there. Can't have that. That's not supposed to happen. There we go. Hopefully that doesn't pour out. A little crumb situation over here. You know what might be fun? I do have these little flowers to put it on the top. I think that one might be a little big. I don't know if I have any smaller ones. We'll check. And I have all these jewel things. Oh wow, yeah, there's a lot here. Holy cow. Some of them put together, some of them not so much. Oh my gosh. Oh, that would be really cute. Why are so big? Ooh, look at that one. That's it. That's the one. Alright, hey, now that is cute. A little flower on it. You know what I thought you could do and make them even prettier is to take some, I found my scissors. Uh, <laughs> so they were right on my pattern paper folder, which is what I was reaching for. You could take some, you know, pattern paper and make an actual cover for your your notepad a pretty little cover
they can rip, rip some sheets out of there if they want to. Got to stick this up here. Hopefully I didn't glue it down too, too well yet. Okay, we're good. We are golden. Yeah, so we can just glue that one right on there. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Messing everything up. <laughs> but all right, we're just gonna take this. We're gonna trim it. How are you gonna trim it? I'm gonna trim it like this, first of all. Just my width, good. That's my height, a bit much. We're just going to totally glue that right down to that lined paper. That's what's happening. I, I absolutely could have stapled the top sheet in there if I had thought about it before I did it. <laughs> but that's not what I did. But you could do that. You could just tape staple that top sheet right to there. And it would look absolutely lovely. Okay, now we're gonna get the fabric glue again. Glue all this back down. Good grief. That looks totally different. Yeah, it seems like these are wider than they were before. <laughs> That's a tr good trick. Interesting. Pull that up a little. Yes, maybe. There we go. Holy cow, I really like that. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Okay, that's a definite winner. I need a little clip here. Keep it. So it glues itself. There we go. You love it. I love it. We'll keep those clipped, but here are our two examples of little notebooks, and you could make a whole little... That's what I'm going to do for my mother-in-law. I'm going to make a bunch of them. One for, like, appointments, one for, like... And I could put the word appointments right on here. And that one, I could use one of these down here. Great. That would be great. Nope. Nope. Can't. Well, if we can't cut straight, that means we're going grungy. A little shabby chic. Put this over here. Okay. Did you see where I put my little sponge? Oh, there it is. Yep, we're just going grungy. That's how we fix it. Mm -hmm. Meep, meep. Whoa. Crafting is messy today. I suppose I could even find a little sheet for the other one as well. One that she might like, but I don't think any of those. <laughs> Not really seamstress, but that would be cute. Not really her style. I do like that, the tape measure, the teal and the blue, I like it. Oh, oh. I feel like we can do better. Ooh, brown, ooh, 
I feel like she would really like this brown. Okay, we got flowers flying all over the place. Clips and clamps and crazy things. Okay. We'll measure. If that turns out to be the right size, it'll be a miracle. Yeah, let's try this again. Okay. Definitely not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's not helpful. Um, let's try that again. Just gonna put it down on there. There, hold the paper that. Of course, this side was a little crooked. Now we'll try it. Oh, I... <laughs> I even, I really measured it wrong. I sure did. How does that look? Pretty good? Pretty good. Very right well there. Okay. We are really winging it, winging it today. Not in a good way. <laughs> Hopefully everything turns out okay. Oh my goodness. I do, I like it. I think I need a little bit more off the side. A little bit more than that. <laughs> there we go. Camera's bouncing all over. Now we'll make this straighter. Oh, that was terrible. Cause I cut it before I I, should, I shouldn't, I shouldn't uh, cut the bottom there first. Okay. Boy, the desk fairy, she's really dropped the ball today. We're just going to ink this up. It's our dark, dark stain. That's perfect because it's a really dark color. So it'll be good that we're doing that. Not gonna see up there. It's here. I don't know that she's gonna particularly like having a cover on her shopping list, but she might. I should put her name and address on the back of this list. I should have made it a folding one too. She would have liked that. And that would fold up in her purse. There we go. Now you can kind of see that blue peeking out. I like it. There we go. Okay, that's way better. That's mucho. Look at this. These are adorable. I would definitely give these as gifts to all of my type A list people. Or ADHD people would make lists too. Yep, <laughs> that's absolutely true. <laughs> Take it from someone who knows. Oh, now I want to put like a little flower on here. But it's got to be attached really, really well because you don't want it to go flying off. That would be super sad. That's too big. Now I kind of want one. What's this? <gasps> that's perfect. I feel like it looks better up there though. I just would really not want it to fall off. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue every inch of this flower so it doesn't have any like parts that are gonna come up. Cause you don't want it getting shopping lists. It gets dragged around a lot. So you don't want it to come off of there. That looks really cute. These just keep getting cuter and cuter every single time. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, I got like flower die cuts from somewhere. And then I had some, some, you know, whatever. They're not really silk flowers, but some of them are, they're like called silk flowers. And I uh, put all those together and then I used my bead jewels, these things, these uh, jewel stickers. Put a little jewel in the middle. It turned out really cute. I think I'm going to do same these for this to make sure all these parts lay down flat. Get glue everywhere. There we go. Oh man. All right, that's it. I think we did it. Uh, I hope you give this a try. This is number three on the list for gift ideas for the retreat. Remember, as always, that the, not as always, but remember that the retreat um, has a big sale going on right now through November. So if you want to jump on that discount train, that would be awesome. And as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.